Hi there, this is Reuven Lerner, and I'm going to show you some basics about the Modeling Commons. The Modeling Commons is a website, a web application, that lets you share NetLogo models with other people. And after you share them with other people so they can see them, you can also make it possible for them to modify them and collaborate with you. Modeling Commons is free of charge. It's a research project sponsored by the CCL, the Center for Connected Learning and Computer-Based Modeling at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. In order to use the Modeling Commons, you simply point your web browser at modelingcommons.org. You don't need to log in in order to use the basic features. It will bring you to this page. You can log in. I will show you how to register at another time. But right now, let's just say I want to look for a model. Well, there are two ways for me to do that. One is for me to go to the List Models page. But if I already know the name of a model that exists in NetLogo, in the NetLogo uh, models library, or that someone else has already uploaded. I can search for the models. I just go here and search for search for wolf. And now I get a search screen that brings up search results for model names, author names. Well, there are no matches here. That's why this is a zero and this is a grayed out. Tag names. I'll talk about social tags in another screencast. The info tab. That is to say, the documentation for each net level model. And the code tab. That is to say, the programs, the program instructions, the procedures, the code for each individual NetLogo model. Well, let's say I found the model that's interesting to me. I found Wolf Sheep Predation. I just click on the link, and here I get to the model page. Now, if you're familiar with NetLogo, you've seen the Info tab, you've seen the Code tab. Here there are a few more tabs in addition to this icon that we can see. First of all, there's a Discuss tab. Right now there's no discussion having to do with this, and because we're not logged in, we can't actually participate in the discussion. We can look at the Info tab, the, dis the documentation and information about this model. It opens up almost as if it were inside of NetLogo. The Code tab shows us the programs, procedures that were written. But if we just want to run the model, we can go to the Run tab, click here to run the model. It takes a little bit of time to load the backend Java that's necessary for this to work. There we go, Java is loading. And after a few moments, here we go, and here is the NetLogo model, the Wolf Sheep Predation model. I can run it exactly as if I were in NetLogo itself. There are some models that won't work as of yet, models that require NetLogo extensions, models that require external files, models that require 3D. We are working on providing those as well, and perhaps by the time you watch the screencast, that will be available also. Uh, and you can look at any different models you want. You can search them. Let's go to the List Models page. Now we get a full list of all the models in the modeling commons. That's actually not entirely true. The list model will show you all the models to which you have access. Right now, we are not logged in, so there are going to be some private models that we cannot access. But that's okay, because there's still 855 models through which we can scroll. We can go next, 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 to go from one page to the next. We can change the number of models we see on a given screen. So if I want to scroll more and page less, I can do that. I can search within these results. So let's say out of all the models, I want to find those that have to do with chemistry. So I can just type chemistry. And you can see that already, out of these 855 models, only 11 actually match that in the model name. And then if I want to, I can once again click on the model and run it. This concludes this initial screencast of the basics of using modeling commons. There are additional screencasts showing you how to use much more of the functionality, including registering, participating in discussions, uploading your own models, groups, permissions, projects, and many other features. I invite you to contact me if you have any questions or comments about the Modeling Commons. My email address is reuven at learner.co.il, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.